Let's die about dead like Billy Virginia. <laughs> It's right. time to blow up the NWA. <laughs> well, don't you work for me? It was 1969. <laughs> They're Dick the Cogs. She's owed $20 by <laughs> Slick Johnson. <laughs> oh, what happens next here in TNA? And now, our boo. Chris P. Cocker. Well, we go backstage and Goldilocks is here. And well, she runs into the dumps. Now, the dumps are an act that was already established. Am I correct, James? Yes, the dumps. Legendary feud with, of course, our boys, Danny Dory <laughs> and Amish Roadkill. <laughs> they were in ECW. <laughs> yes, chicken fucker. So the dumps are, of course, Bo Dump and... Stick uh, Dump. St 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 <laughs> fuck, stand Penis Dump. Penis Boy Dump. <laughs> Johnson Dump. <laughs> Corsica <Fellas>. Dump. <laughs> Wife Dump. <laughs> what do you guys know about the dumps? <laughs> so it's Bow Dump and Stand Up, who are cousins, and they're also here with their other cousin, Fluff Dump, who is a girl and is also their both of their girlfriends. And she is in the locker room as they follow Goldilocks into the locker room. And there is beers in the locker room, of course. I mean, it's not like a six pack of beers or something. <laughs> no, it's a, a goddamn <laughs> entire case. It's like a big fucking barrel of beers yeah. and ice. It's like a tub of ice. No well, Bill Barron's is here to squash this. And Bill Barron's walks in and says, hey, boy, listen, no drinking in the locker room. We don't want any intoxicated wrestlers in our ring. Bill Barron's came in and said, aren't you guys supposed to be dressed up as dicks? <laughs> Aren't you guys Elvises or no? <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen Corsica Joe? Wait. <laughs> Corsica Joe is wandering around. We have lost Corsica Joe and his wife. Corsica <laughs> Joe and his wife. And was Alicia <laughs> says that Corsica Joe is her $20. <laughs> Corsica Joe and his wife were supposed to work a match versus James Storm. It's like, goes to 20 minutes ago. <laughs> And they owe they owe Alicia money, and we have to settle this right now. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! And Francine owes a lot of people a lot of money, according to. <laughs> oh, by the way, just so you guys know, one half of the dubs is Trevor Murdoch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. Stand up is Trevor Murdoch. Bo Dup is. Dude, Boat Up is from Raleigh. Whoa, is that right? Yeah, he's from Raleigh. His other names were Otto Schwanz, <laughs> Big Murray Dub, Murray Happer, Dude, and look Baron at his Von trainer. Happer. Look at his trainer. Kill <laughs> Murray Carmichael! Carmichael! Holy fuck! You want Carmichael? Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Yeah, that is crazy. Wow, he was also trained by the Hardys and Steve Carino. What a lineup! There was also another member of the Dups, Pucked Up, which might have was he the ECW one, perhaps? Yeah, probably the one. Oh uh, my god! Remember the fucked up pedigree Triple H did to a jobber in like ninety fucking six? I do. That was Marty Garner, who also is known as Pucked Up from you get North it? Carolina. Pucked up? No, I don't understand. I, I hear you. It's supposed to be a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fucking girl... migraine right now. <laughs> Crazy says, style. There's some wussies here in the NWA. And then that's what, that's the end of that. And it gets better, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because next we have the Hermie Sadler and other guy down all. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't you disres... Don't you disrespect... I'm sorry. Hermie Sadler... And yes. Jeff Gordon. St no, not Jeff Gordon. Sterling Marlin. I knew that. He's the fucking- Fuck you, of course you know. He's the NASCAR points leader. And mm -hmm. Mike Tanay lets you know that that's like being the Stanley Cup holder of the <laughs> NWA championship. <laughs> <laughs> so Herbie Salad has got to go out just with his cogs. <laughs> uh, Herbie Salad and the other guys say they're going to win the NASCAR NWA title. That's what they, yeah, they, Boris says, listen, uh, Sterling Marlin, you're on the top of the mountain in the Winston Cup Point Series. 
And Sterling Marlin gets on the mic and says, "Him and all, he's all with him all, him and all." He said, "Yes, sir. I hear you on that." I said, "All right." Who interrupts him other than K Crush? K Crush, who is just hot off of a WWF run as K Quick. And if you don't know him as any of those names, you might know him as R Truth. <laughs> K Crush is here and he says, "I'm sick of hearing about some race car driver. This is pro wrestling." I said, "Hell yeah, K Crush." Let him know, man. He said, you call yourself athletes, you got no damn business inside a wrestling ring. And this is fucking true. He said, my kind are athletes. I said, whoa. He said, your kind drive a car around in a circle in a left motion continuously. My kind, we dunk basketballs and we throw touchdowns and we do arm drops. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> We do leg drops. <laughs> and my, my grandmama can do what you do. I said, whoa, that's fucking sweet. And. Hermie Sandler. Why don't you shut up just one second? He gets said, reset. Oh Why don't you goodness. shut the fuck up? He said, How do you expect anybody here to take you serious looking like you look? I said, What the fuck is happening here, man? He's just wearing jeans, said, by the way. He's wearing a bandana <laughs> He's and just jeans. jeans. <laughs> <laughs> look what at you. Fuck? Look at you. There was two cogs out here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be more. Hermit, you watched him walk by you before this segment, the cocks. <sighs> Kate Crush says, Damn you and damn Alabama. I'm going to introduce you to professional wrestling. And then Kate Crush grips up Hermie Sadler. And at no point did I know who was going to make the save here, James. There's only one no man point. that could have made the save. <laughs> There's no, at no point There's only I one man, this... and everyone in the crowd knew it, and everyone was ready for it. Grandmaster Sexay is now making the save here. For Hermie Sadler. Grandmaster Sexay, but you can't call him that. This is Brian Christopher. Well, he gets the ring. He does a weird little fucking move. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> he fucking, I don't know either. He hits him with a super kick. And then Hermie Sadler and Sterling Marlin throw K-Crush over the top rope. And K-Crush takes the meanest fucking landing of anybody on this show. And there's a battle royal later. So that tells you how that match goes. Yo, 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 fucking. yo, yo. Listen up, you motherfucker, <laughs> mofo. <laughs> You want to pick on these guys? Why don't your kind come down to pick on my kind right here and now? Guys, what are you doing? This company should have went out of business right here. This should have been it. Guys, what are you doing? This should have been it, man. This company, it, it should have been done. The, the fact that they're still around is like crazy, man. I don't it know. It's unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Brian Christopher says, I'm challenging you. The G Master wants you. He calls himself the, the G Master. <laughs> Wait a second, dude. <laughs> Don't you call yourself that. <laughs> Your kind don't get to call yourself the G-Master, dude. G-Master, once you're in the ring next week and I'll have my friend Sterling give me some dog. What's your dog? And Hermie, give me some dog. And What's up with this guy? In my corner. And Mike Tanay is screaming on commentary. Remember, he was Grandmaster in the WWF? <laughs> well, he's Brian Christopher now here in TNA. And Good security shit, for some reason takes away truth? Yeah, they're shitting they just, on him. They shit on him and attacked him. I mean, he he gripped up fucking Hermie Sadler, but it was uh, the numbers yo, were yo, against yo, yo, him. Yo. yo 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 Listen up, you mofo. <laughs> Real weird racist angle. <laughs> weird racist fuck? angle after weird incest <laughs> angle after weird cock <laughs> angle after weird lingerie Blatant. battle royale angle. Yeah. By the way, AJ Styles and Loki Jelly were on the show. Jimmy Yang, they Sonny were Ziyagi. on the show. That's why everybody did remember. Wrestle. Uh, so yeah. anyways, backstage, Jeff Jarrett is attacking Jackie Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> Double goozling Jackie Fargo in the back. He's screaming in his face, I want you to remember who did this to you. As a bunch of refs and security come break it up. What the fuck? So Christian York and Joey Matthews versus the Dups. Even when you get a glimmer of hope. <laughs> you get a glimmer of hope. Christian York and Joey Matthews, they're fucking hot. Like, if ECW hadn't died, these guys would have been, like, fucking big. Yes, they were, like, them and, like, the Backseat Boys probably would have been brought in. Like, these guys were meant to be the next, like, tag team guys. They would have eventually fucking iced out Danny Dorian and Ruby. <laughs> I don't know about that. But. <laughs> and they're facing the fucking Dups. Stan Dup and Bo Dup with Fluffed Up. Of course. And Tanae says, you can say it's all in the family with the Dups. And Bo Dup won't stop picking his nose. And Mike Tanae says, it seems Bo Dup has a self-inflicted wedgie, which is fucking insane to say. <laughs> self-inflicted. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable. Yeah, so Chris York gets a nice double springboard dropkick. Uh, yeah, they fuck their cousin. 
<laughs> I hear you. In her uh, ass. Oh, and they're trying. They're doing springboard drop kicks and a, like suplexes and shit. Dude, and- you know what's crazy about this is like this is 2002 and like they already made the d- d- fucking executive decision that wrestling will not work. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 for the, and for the next 10 fucking years, that's all anyone ever wanted. That's why ROH worked. That was why PWG yes. worked. That's why every other the, indie in the world it's worked. It's the NWA as well, which is like, tra- you know, tradition. It's, oh, well, bro, fucking tradition. It, it's where it, WCW was built and from. your cousin. And WCW was like, everything happened on screen. Everything was a wrestling match. There was no like, yes. if, if there, it was a story, it was in the wrestling itself. And they said, no fucking way. They're incest. Yeah. They're well, fucking Vince said, no way. I fuck you, man. Kiss demon. Uh, well, Bo Dup did hit a sweet Yakuza kick into a jumping frog splash for a two. Yeah, and then he picked his nose and his cock and his ass. Yeah, the stuff of like, do what he? Christian York did like uh, the Wasteland and then the Standing Zenton. And I know it's 2002, by the way, because Joey Matthews hits the Virginia necktie, which is a regular yes, neck breaker. They call it that, though, yes. Matthews, then Mick Foley's Murdoch, or uh, I don't even know his name. Stand, <laughs> stand up. Stand, stand up. up. Uh, stand up. <laughs> Christian York goes for a moonsault. I think he does a tornado DDT and then. He goes out of the top yes. rope for the moonsault and then. Yes, I think he just gets crushed. I don't know if he. No, yeah, because he tri- she gets trio woe, doesn't he? Yeah, so fluffed up takes forever. Took her fucking time getting over to him here. He had well, to stand pro- there. I will defend fluffed up with my life. The ref is distracted by Matthews and stand up fighting on the floor, and she's meant to go past the referee who's staring outside the ring and get up on the apron and crotch him crotch him on the same side that the referee is on <laughs> so it's really a fucked up situation on all around but she does crotch him on the top and then Bodup gets the win from that no move just crotch and you lose I hear you so uh <laughs> <laughs> next up on the list here commercial for Toby Key's song yeah! <laughs> there is no one in America more over than Toby Keith at this time. He is putting out a patriotic song every Dude, week. It should be illegal. To, it should have been illegal to do this. You should not have been able to do this. <laughs> this he was, made so much money off of how fucking pissed people were at 9-11. This is like he an made infinite so money much glitch. Money. If Toby Keith had ran for president, he would have won. And not even a question would have been asked about it. It's unbelievable. They love this motherfucker. How do you like me now? Fuck you, man. Hey, my daddy was in the <laughs> army. My mama was a cook and I grew up with a dog and not will ever change my life. The music video for How Do You Like Me Now is fucking weird, too. He's like forcing this woman to stay and listen to his shitty concert. Don't you fucking leave. <laughs> You better stay right there, motherfucker. Don't leave, because I'm bringing out the Johnsons. Jeremy Borash then introduces Toby Keith to come out to sing The Angry American. (laughs) Toby Keith proceeds to sing the most South Park-ass song I've ever heard in my life. Where were you? (laughs) Where were you? Because I was with my dog and my husband and wife. Are good. If you don't like America, you can shuck on these red, white, and blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> Toby Keith, infinite money glitch. It it's unbelievable. They should have made a law that you cannot fucking sing about America for at least five <laughs> years after a national tragedy. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Fuck you. I cannot <laughs> believe I was, just, I was listening to the South Park song. I was just sitting there like, holy shit. I knew where we were going. It's like he's like, he started playing. I was like, okay, here we go. All right. Can't hear nothing. Can't hear the guitar. Can't hear his voice. And he starts singing. Of course. My daddy served in the army. My daddy was in the army. I said, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That is so fucking listen, sick. Listen, you will pay for your transgressions. I don't, you had to understand that, Toby. How do you like me now? You cannot do. <laughs> you cannot do that. You cannot fucking Fuck do you, that man. shit. How do you like me now? No, you can't fucking do that shit, you man. Can't mess with the U.S. of <laughs> 
Jeff Jarrett comes out and he pushes Toby Keith, you Fuck stupid you, jackass. Man. Get out of here, man. The crowd fucking. is rocking. They love this fucking performance and they hate Jeff Jarrett for this. You son of a bitch. Because the angry Americans got something to say. Yo, yeah. Alien Ant Farm already came with anthology at this point, brother. You could yeah, have been fuck fucking... Yeah, fuck off. We'll put a in your ass. It's the American way. <laughs> Talk about Uncle Sam in the song. What are you uh, gonna do with that? What are you gonna do? Uncle Sam put your name at the top of the list. <laughs> Brother. Why did, you should have said, fuck you, Osama. <laughs> That's like his third song of his album, probably. It's song is probably called <laughs> Fuck You, Osama. <laughs> Holy Toby shit, Toby Keith is man. here and he's American as hell and he wants to beat up Jeff Jarrett for interrupting his fucking song, The Angry American. Now he is the Angry American. And Jeff Jarrett says, hey, Toby Keith. This is awesome, by the way. Jarrett is getting so much heat here. He says, hey, Toby Keith. Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody wants to hear you sing. Nobody wants to hear that damn song. So take your Angry American ass right out of here. That is so sick. Anyone, fuck you. Jeff Jarrett was awesome. <laughs> Dude, it, he stopped this, so yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> he said, Hey, Toby, I've just got a few words for you and everybody in this building. How do you like me now? Oh, man. Oh, that's the new song? <laughs> that's the song. I love that song, you piece of shit. Oh, uh, well, it's time now for... We'll put a boot in your... <laughs> Uncle Sam had sex with my wife. <laughs> and I let him up. That for cheating uh -huh. bitch. Yeah. Ain't that right, fellas? <laughs> he put his cock in her ass. That's the American way. <laughs> and fuck you, Osama Bin Laden. Come lick these red, white, and blue balls. And everyone said, yeah, there, there it is. There it he, is. That is my guy. That's the next president of the United States. Yeah. Toby Keith. Well, before that, we got the, uh, for the presidency, we have the gauntlet <laughs> for the gold. We made it to the main event here. The gauntlet for the gold for the NWA World Championship. Uh, just before we get to this, I do want to remind everybody that this is the main event. And the last time you saw anything worth anything was an hour ago an hour and a half ago <laughs> <laughs> main event time gauntlet for the gold for the nwa world title jeff jarrett of course is number one and who would have thunk it number two is fucking bad yes metal. sir <laughs> uh, stuff. unannounced fucking just randomly here's buff bagwell jeff jarrett and buff bagwell start out here uh, 90 second countdown on the screen uh buff is doing shit and the crowd's going crazy for it buff also has just on the side of his tights, just a naked girl with her arms crossed. That's awesome. <laughs> and Jeff Jarrett just very easily eliminates him. He did the blockbuster now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, he can throw it out. Fuck yeah, out here. Well. He does that to him about half the people here, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, out next is, of course, Lash LaRue entrant number three. And Mike Tanay says, hey, he was... The fucking, he was raging Cajun in WCW, remember him? <laughs> That's his whole match, is Mike Tanay saying, hey, you remember this guy? <laughs> he throws him through the fucking middle rope, a not, he dies on the floor, then he throws Lash LaRue into the guardrail, and Lash LaRue spinning back fists a child in the front row. <laughs> 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 it's fucking insane Holy looking. Holy shit, man. And he throws him back in, hits him with a stroke, and then throws Lash LaRue out. Sorry about that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Well, entry number four, Screaming Norman Smiley. You remember him? He was the dude that fucked you in your ass in WCW. Yeah, oh, I remember. He tries to <laughs> fuck Jeff Jarrett in his ass, too. He does. He gets in, he clo and Jared fucks him up, and Norman Smiley does a crazy wind-up body slam. Smooth and then sailing. Norman Smiley goes, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was sweet. And then he goes for the wiggle on Jarrett, but Jarrett low blows him and then hits him with a stroke. And then throws him out. Well, he says, well, Mike today says that Norman hits the wiggle, which is the dance in the center. And he that goes, is not now true. He, he says, now he's going for the big wiggle. And that's oh, where Jarrett oh. low blows him. And I didn't then, know there was a difference between the wiggle and the big wiggle. I'm sorry. I would not doubt Mike today, so I'm sure he's right. Iron Mike today again, he's going to let you know that he did this at WCW. Oh, do um, you remember that? <laughs> but Jarrett low blows him, hits a stroke, and then the crowd dies, and he sends. <laughs> well, guess he's number five. Uh, Batista did it. Apollo comes out here 
fucking dressed out like a default CAW. You got the default CAW moveset, and Don West There's, is out here yelling like he's doing something crazy. Oh he, well, my probably, god! Yeah, they probably told him to put Apollo over like crazy, and he doesn't really know what that means, so he just started flipping out. Apollo hits the fucking sky high on Jarrett, then a 2K comeback. Jared's getting his ass whooped. So finally, there's going to be more than two people in here. And here comes the next entrant. K-Crush comes out to save Jeff Jarrett. Uh, and he does the scissor kick thing to Apollo where he spins out. It's very fucking cool. Well, of course, James. Who's out next? I cannot believe my eyes is only, of course, <laughs> slashed with James <laughs> Mitchell. Of course, uh, which is a part of the disciples of the new church. <laughs> they say it so matter of factly that you're just supposed to know that there was no promo on the show. You've never seen them once on the show, especially Slash. The, and do you know who Slash is? Uh, no. Wolfie D from PG thirteen. Wait, really? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just thought he was Slash of the Disciples of the New Church. Well, he is now, but he was Wolfie D. Well, he didn't you know that? Singing Nation of Domination. Yeah, yeah. That's actually crazy. What the fuck? It is fu he looks completely fucking yeah, different. That's it's insane. Weird. Ryan Shamrock as <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> the Slash is out here. Yeah, Disciples of the New Church. They're just. They, they have not <laughs> introduced the story yet. No! There's a whole stable here with the fucking <laughs> they have Sinister Multiple Minister. entrances. With the yeah. disciples of the new church, and they have not what done the this fuck? angle. I don't know. That's insane. Apollo hits him with a huge fucking backdrop, and then here comes the man. <laughs> that the cr this is this could be the biggest pop of the match. Honestly, it got me. It got me. <laughs> it got me at first because I was like half paying attention, <laughs> and I remember here back. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> this man walks onto the stage, blonde hair, huge arms tanned purple trunks sunglasses superman logo on the tights died goatee you guessed it it's del rios <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the life being sucked out of the crowd once they very quickly realize this is not the big bad booty daddy his gimmick it's is that he is not scott steiner I don't know what you're talking about. I have never seen a guy that looks like this before. <laughs> Can you name one wrestler that looks like this? Darius. <laughs> and he does belly to belly suplexes. That's like legit. His gimmick at the time was like fake Scott Steiner. Yeah. Like he, he was legit working this gimmick. And Jeff asked Scott to be a part of this show. He said no. So we got this guy. That is fucking awesome. Okay, do you remember Fantasio from WWF? He was like a magician gimmick? I do remember this guy. Okay, this is Del Rio's. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next entrant. A guy that looks crazy similar to Joseph Park. He comes out and does the fucking abyss mannerisms, bro. <laughs> he does the abyss mannerisms and does the black hole slam. <laughs> His name is Justice, though. <laughs> he, he wears an NWA wild side, Bill Barrett style. But yeah, so just in case you didn't know, yes, Justice is abyss here. John Mast, very early on in TNA. Next out is K Dog. Conan is here, and boy, oh boy, oh did my. I get everything I wanted here. I, when he came out, Not I said, everything. The dead, I said well, there was one missing ingredient, but I figured he wouldn't do the Tequila Sunrise in a Battle Royal. That'd be that, I, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting him to try. <laughs> All I asked when he came out, I said, Deb, he just got, I just want him to do the rolling clothesline and then grab his balls. And he did the rolling clothesline of the four people and then grabbed his balls. Grabbed his balls? <laughs> face buster. Oh face my. Face buster to, to abyss. <laughs> this guy's crazy as hell. And then up next. Well... Well, well. Joel Gertner is out here. He uh, does his whole spiel where he says he's gonna fuck you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you're, you're getting fucked in Huntsville. Yeah, let him know. For sure. And he introduces Bruce of the Rainbow Express. And here comes Lenny Lane and Bruce, uh, which the You'll Rainbow never, Express. You will never guess what the Rainbow Express's gimmick is. 
no way, especially not here on this show of TNA. There's no way you out. can understand what this gimmick is. Yeah, there's no fucking way. Lenny Lane was in WCW. I'm sure Mike Tanay let you know about that. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. Well, don't worry about that because out next is the dog face gremlin Rick Steiner. And he's out here helping his brother Chuck Dude. <laughs> Dude. Like... <laughs> Rick is like cool with Shock Steiner. He's totally cool with him. He's his like, brother, this is, he doesn't even attack him, or like he's not trying no to work way. with him, or like he's That's just his like boy. comes okay. in. And he's fucking killing people. He hits an exploder to slash. He eliminates Justice Big Style. Crazy bump from Justice to the fucking on the apron, by the way. And then out next, representing the disciples of the future. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> The wall, the wall is here. otherwise known as malice. I know I did not write Completely different Ma looking human being, by the way. I did Completely not write different. malice once here. It was always this is wall. Malice, no, this is wall, brother. That's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> malice comes out and hits a choke slam oh on my. Chuck Steiner, and then to Bruce, and then to Conan, and then K Crush tries to be his friend, but he gets choke slammed too, and then Malice eliminates everybody, including uh, Bruce, K Crush. Shock Steiner, and then Conan, who takes the safest bump you could possibly imagine someone taking to the apron and then falls to the floor. He doesn't even fall, he just lands on his feet. Conan <laughs> takes the safest bump, and then Rick Steiner takes the most Dude, unsafe bump ever. Holy fucking shit, I'm so mad that there wasn't a fucking camera there. Malice low bridges the top rope, and Rick Steiner goes flying over it, doesn't catch the rope, and just dies on the fucking floor. He might have hit the guardrail. It was insane. So Jarrett and Malice Jarrett. try to el eliminate uh, Apollo, but he skins the cat, and Scott Hall comes out next, and Apollo hits a dope kick on Malice, and then Hall hits the outsider's edge on Jarrett. He should have did it over the top. Uh, but then, so I wasn't sure at first uh, if this was an entrant or not. Well, first off, <laughs> before I we talk about who's next, Apollo was on the top rope and then just randomly gets down. Yeah, what the fuck? He went for something. I guess everyone said, fuck your spot, kid. We're not doing that Scott shit. Hall took liberties. He just got down. He said, oh, damn, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so out next, which I believe is a participant in the match, who is waved in by Scott Hall and does not get an official entrance. He just walks in through the side of the ramp, is USA Zone Toby Keith. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. It's is he number American 15 or way? no? I guess not. I think he is. Well, I mean, because I wrote down that Ken Shamrock is 19, but yes, if that's the 20s. case, if that's the case, then the numbers are way off. Well, we'll get there and we'll count backwards. How about that? We'll figure out if they got this right. I want you to talk about Toby Keith because I feel like you like Toby Keith a lot. Well, yeah. Well, Toby Keith does the most legendary <laughs> move of all time. This is where That's he... exactly... That's what I want you to talk about, <laughs> really. <laughs> Toby Keith's the third man. Toby Keith goes down here <laughs> and does a suplex to Jeff Jarrett, vertical suplex style. Stalling. And then he gets up and he does the craziest taunt of all time. Is it the suplex taunt or is it eliminate him taunt? I don't know. Sits. One arm up, one arm pointing to himself. Toby Keith just created his own taunt. No one ever has ever done this taunt other than Toby Keith. And, and no one has ever done it since. The closest thing is Keith Lee's taunt. <laughs> That's crazy. He does the taunt, and somehow Scott Hall understands that this means it's time to eliminate Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> that is fucking crazy, dude. Jeff Jarrett gets eliminated by Toby Keith and Scott Hall, and then Toby Keith just leaves through the middle. See he doesn't get eliminated. He's a winner. He's, he's just, still in it. He's still in it to this day. Toby Keith has claimed That's to the NWA World Championship. I don't think he was number 15. I think Scott Hall just said, get your ass in here. You might be right. Chris Harris is next. Uh, everyone loves Chris Harris. Dude. Whatever happens next is insane to me. I don't know if this was a fuck up or what happened. What what happens? Who comes out next here? <laughs> Gangrel. Yes, but no, like immediately after Chris Harris. He, yeah, they said, oh, I guess he's not paying attention to the counter. <laughs> uh, that's the Vampire Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Vampire Warrior. <laughs> The numbers now, I've, I've lost completely at this point. I had I had them in my mind, and then I lost them. Like, I wasn't writing them. So, okay, we so will go back and do Scott the due diligence. Hall, Scott Hall is number 14. Toby Correct. Keith is number 15, if you want to. Let's just say he's number 15. Sure. Okay, so Chris Harris would be number 16. 
Okay. Gangrel would be number 17. Number Steve Carino. Number 18 is Dangerous Devon Storm. Do not forget Dangerous oh, Devon Storm. So, oh, I'm so sorry. Crowbar, Dangerous Devon Storm. Now, which would make Steve Carino number 19, which cannot be right, be right okay. because Kid so, Shamrock is number 19. Okay. Well, then that would explain why Toby Keith also doesn't <laughs> matter who made it. <laughs> Toby Keith just comes in and suplexes Jeff Jarrett and leaves. Okay, that's fine. Dangerous Devon Storm comes out, who is Crowbar in WCW. Do you remember that? Uh, he comes out and... <laughs> does his little pose on the stage and then gets in the ring and starts lighting Chris Harris up with chops like he owes him money. Well, Scott what Hall is just fuck? sitting on the top rope. He's just hanging out in the corner. Scott Hall is just chilling. And then Gangrel looks at him and laughs and Scott Hall gets down and punches him in the face. <laughs> Steve Carino is out next, and they say he's the only former NWA champion in this match. James Mitchell is talking to Malice uh, every time Malice goes to get eliminated because he's part of the Disciples of the New Church, of course. And then number 19 is Ken Shamrock. Not the last participant in the match. Why? Because, because there's a bigger deal coming. The soon. G Master. The G Master is number 20. Grandmaster Sexy is the last participant in this match. And on commentary, they say it like you're supposed to know that that's obvious. They say, oh, well, of course. Who else would it be? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not, I don't know anything about this fucking match. He eliminates Chris Harris, Dangerous Devon Storm, the Vampire Warrior, Steve Carino, and they, he dances after Steve Carino, and then Malice choke slams him. <laughs> DNA sucked. DNA was smoking crack <laughs> big style, man. This, they were slurping as juice dude, by the fucking gallon. There was <laughs> one match on this show. There was literally 10 minutes. Yes. And that's fucking it. That's it. That is it. That's Holy all you get. shit, man. This is the night of history, of course. Ken Shamrock is so juicy here. Very juicy. Very juicy here. <laughs> so it's down to Brian Christopher. Ken Shamrock, Malice, Apollo, and <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. Hey, don't forget the hidden participant here. Who's that? <laughs> Who's this? Corsica Joe. He's coming in uh, here, number Corsica 21. Here. <laughs> he was supposed to be number 21, but they lost him. He was number 21. He was dressed up as a cock. He was a gorilla ready to come out. They told him, we don't need you now, brother. They stopped him at Gorilla because his wife <laughs> owes Alicia money. <laughs> <laughs> he was very offended in his cock outfit he left. Joke. That's my guy. Uh, Malice <laughs> goes for a double choke slam on Hall and Apollo, but they get out of it. And then Apollo gets backdrop over the top rope by Malice. Then Hall goes to Outsider's Edge Malice over the top, but also gets backdrop over. So we have come down to the final two here. Malice and Ken Shamrock which means it is time to go to normal match rules with your referee, Ricky the Dragon no. Steamboat, for the NWA World Championship. No. <laughs> and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat allegedly has never, ever watched the submission in his entire life. Dude, this is so... <laughs> I was surprised at how jarring it was to go from the Battle Royal to the match. It was super weird, wasn't it? Yeah, like, it, was it was jarring. Like, very jarring. And the match itself doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Uh, so this is for the title... There's two people in the crowd holding big signs that say, We came for Francine. Will she come for us? <laughs> <laughs> right. She's single handedly bankrupt ECW. <laughs> Please Electra, bankrupt me, Alexa Francine. Alexa said, Who called you the Queen of Extreme? <laughs> Paul? <laughs> Your boss did? <laughs> The screen at one point during this match gets really fucking bright. Like, I feel like I'm getting abducted by an alien. And then it cuts to another shot that uh, just a camera that's closer. What the fuck happened there? I don't know. Yeah. I, I Legical surge. Corsica Joe is messing with the. <laughs> Corsica uh, Joe the was backstage. He's fucking with the wires. Dick costume. Fuck you, man. He was stealing all the copper. <laughs> I need this copper wire to pay my wife's debts. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. Oh, my I'm fucking God. <laughs> Steal the copper wire. <laughs> In a cock costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Make, Why were they filming that? Make the suffering end. <laughs> it goes on for they this company lasts. 
This company lasts today. This is still around. <laughs> this gives me hope for DPW. <laughs> oh my god. So they're just doing shit. Shamrock is putting Malice in submissions. He puts him in a cross arm breaker. Malice takes like 10 minutes to get out of that. Then Shamrock puts him in an ankle lock. Malice gets to the ropes. Shamrock drags him off. And Ricky Steamboat says, that's fucking cool. No problem. He just doesn't break the submission. Malice then gets to the ropes again. Ricky Steamboat starts counting for Shamrock to break the submission. Ricky Steamboat goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the man's a wrestler, not a referee. arguing with him. <laughs> He's a wrestler, fuck? damn it. Yeah, he doesn't know how to count, I guess. Yeah. Shamrock and Steamboat start arguing. Malice throttles Shamrock. Oh Shamrock God. breaks out of it and hits him with a belly to belly suplex and pins him. <laughs> Why did he do all this fucking submissions for? Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Can't Shamrock wins with a belly to belly after doing <laughs> five to ten minutes oh of submissions? Oh my God. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so Shamrock wins and there you go. Pyro goes off. Shamrock celebrates with the belt. All the stars are here to congratulate Shamrock. Uh, Suspicious by his absence is Gorgeous <laughs> Joe. We promised you a historic <laughs> evening, and we delivered. <laughs> so they go from Shamrock celebrating to the title to the commentators. The show is not over. No, because there's more. The shot of the commentators, Ed Ferrara says some crazy shit Sorry here. about the evening. <laughs> yeah, he says, well, this show is all right, true, <laughs> and Ken that. Shamrock, and yeah. <laughs> They go backstage and Jeff starts <laughs> arguing with Jackie Fargo and Toby Keith. <laughs> and in the background, you can see Grizzly and Jeff. And the guy got him. It's still a guy for a while. Hey, somebody get this fucking guy. Hey, Jackie Fargo, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jackie Fargo stopping him from saving the show. So today, ex today face is Ferrara is explaining what happened with Jared and Toby Keith earlier. Jared then comes to the ring and says, that's the biggest bunch of crap I've ever heard. He just has to make sure that he buries this Dude, fucking match a little more. he buried the match after it happened again. Open the show burying the match, end the show burying the match. He says, you mean to tell me that the world title is going to be decided by a gauntlet for the gold match? Dory Funk, let me ask you, did you ever win a title in a battle royal? Did you? Harley, did you ever win one of your titles in a damn battle royal? It's a damn joke out here, Bullet, and you know it. All of y'all know it. He said, Harley Race, Dory, Ricky, where the hell is Gorsa <laughs> <a> good job? <laughs> that son of a bitch. I told him to stay He's away from our car wire. towards the back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let him steal. No, no. Get DNA, that son of a bitch. DNA, DNA. So, Bullet Bob fucking shoves Jarrett, and Jarrett just decks him, and then punches Dory Funk too for no reason. And then here comes Jackie Fargo and Toby Keith to attack Jeff Jarrett. And Jackie Fargo's best. He says, you no good rotten 14 carat, no good son of a bitch. I've been in this business for many years. And he, well, he's a country music singer. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. That's right. And next week, I'll bring somebody out here to whoop your ass. And Jared says, fuck that. Let's do it right now. And Jackie Fargo says, all right, well, Scott Hall, Scott Hall, come out here. Here comes Scott Hall charging down to the ring, and him and Jared brawl as today says, Next week, Jared and Scott Hall on pay-per-view. And that's the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, the screaming is conspicuous. All the wire gets <laughs> cut in the building, and the show gets turned off. <laughs> Cons conspicuous by his absence, that son of a bitch. Of course, a good Joe. You fucking goddamn fucker. <laughs> Dude, this company should have died this night. It's, there should not have been a week two. If you were judging this show, if this show was to live or die based on the results of this show, it's dead. this company would have died halfway through it's the dead. show. And you know what? Jeff Jarrett is in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, it's a good show. Someone has the. Of course, it's go, it's go to jail regardless. <laughs> so it's a good show. Paid for his bond with copper wire. <laughs> He's in a jail cell in the cock outfit. Oh, yeah. Cut. <laughs> just fucking finish this show. Just get a fuck out of here. All right.
Of course, a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, 